Hey guys, Harry here with a battery care and health check video for our long tail. This is a lithium ion battery, which is very popular these days. We need to make sure we take good care of them. And here are some things to look out for to make sure that it's running well. So firstly, a visual check of the battery is important and just making sure there's no sign of damage to the casing of the battery. Check for signs of cracks, any signs of, of denting on the actual casing itself. We've got the charging port on this side here with a rubber bung. Uh, if you're riding in the wet or through mud, just make sure that's clean and it's free from any debris, uh, especially before plugging it in to charge it, and that the rubber bung's in place and is doing its job. Uh, on the bottom of the battery, we've got the contact points, which is obviously how the battery connects to the bike. Um, just a visual check to make sure there's no damage there, no sign of rust in there, um, and obviously kept clean from any debris and any water. Um, Please do not try and disassemble the battery casing in any way. There is that written on the bottom on a sticker, but um, definitely avoid taking any tools for the battery. We've got the key in the lock. Again, same thing applies, just making sure that's clean and it's free from any grit and dirt in there, just to keep the key running smoothly. Obviously, we have the button on the side, which tells you the uh, charge of the battery. If you press that and hold it down, it will tell you how many bars you have. Just make sure there's no discrepancies there and that when you've left the uh, battery on charge that it's at a full charge and all the lights are green. Moving on to the frame of the bike, obviously we've got the battery mount plate here. First thing to do would be to just make sure there's no movement on the mount and that none of the bolts are loose, just by pushing with your fingers to make sure that's tight and in place properly. Uh, and then towards the back of the mount, you've obviously got the connection points for the battery, um, which is five pieces of metal that stick out here. Just making sure that they look good, no sign of rust, no sign of damage there, that they're all straight and not bent. Um, and then when we put the battery in place, we want to make sure that there's a nice satisfying click into place. So you'll know the battery's in place when you push it back in the mount and you hear a nice satisfying click uh, and that it's as far back as it can go and that there's no movement there. And then good practice just to lock it in place, just to make sure the battery isn't going anywhere, especially when you're riding. Okay, moving on and talking about the charger. Same with all of our e-bike chargers. We just want to make sure that the charger's in good health. Just a visual check to make sure that the cables are fine and not damaged in any way. Um, there are obviously two leads with this one. One is attached to the charging block and the other one is a, uh, a kettle lead. Making sure that if you disconnect this one, these pins are in place and aren't bent or damaged, that there's no sign of water ingress. Uh, standard stuff. Uh, this charger, unlike our other e-bike chargers, has a, uh, an audible fan that you can hear. Um, so don't be alarmed if you can hear the fan working. Um, just maybe be, be vigilant to that noise changing over time. Uh, and obviously, like with all of our chargers, don't keep it under clothing, don't keep it covered up, make sure it's well ventilated uh, so it doesn't overheat. Uh, it's good practice to set a timer on, uh, like a wall socket timer uh, on the charger so that it's not charging for longer than it needs to. And good practice also to bring the battery in the house or inside, especially over winter when it's getting colder outside. And most importantly, all of our chargers are specific uh, to the battery that they belong to. So please only use the correct charger um, for your battery and not cross models. Like always, if you spot anything in the video or have any questions, please do get in touch and we'll be very happy to help.